What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color in eyes. Now for this video I'm going to be using Copic markers and I'm going to be using a total of 13 Copic colors for this video. But I'm going to be using four different color combinations to color in each eye because each eye color will be different. One is going to be brown, one is going to be blue, one is going to be green, and one is going to be gray. But in advance, here are all the colors that I'll be using in today's video. For the brown eye, I'm going to be using E74, E77, and E49. For the blue eye, I'm going to be using B23, B24, B26, and B28. For the green eye, I'm going to be using G21, G85, and YG67. And for the gray eye, I'm going to be using C5, cool gray number 5, C7, cool gray number 7, and C9, cool gray number 9. In addition to those supplies, I'm also going to be using my Sharpie markers to color in the pupils that you can kind of see on screen. And I'm going to be using my white Posca paint pen to add some highlights. But that's everything you'll need, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for this one eye, I'm going to be laying down a base color of E74. So I'm just going to be coloring that in. Okay, and then I'm going to use my mid-tone, which is E77, I'm just going to go along the contours of this uh, iris, that's the colored part of the eye. I'm just going to apply that to a big, huge, large amount, but still leave an area for the base color, so that way we have room to blend it back together. So along the contours, and then up here as well. Okay, and now let's go back with our E74 and blend it together. Okay, and then let's go to E49, our darkest color, and apply this along the contours as well. And as we apply this E49, we start to see a big difference in value. In other words, this color is a lot darker compared to the other colors that we just finished applying. All right. And now, as we work backwards, we should be able to finalize this eye. So let's go back with our mid-tone, E77. And then our base color, which is E74. And after adding this, we should be able to complete this eye. And there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is take my Sharpie marker. And my pupil might not be visible anymore but I'm just gonna do my best to draw a circle in the middle of the eye. Like that, and then let me grab my paint pen real quick. I already gave it a little shake, and now I'm just gonna apply a few ellipses on one side of the eye as a way to add highlights. And then another ellipse over here. And then when I draw these ellipses as the highlights, I like to have it kind of overlapping the pupil, just a small amount. Like that. And there we go. We got our first eye. So let me transition to the next one so I can show you guys how to do a blue one. Okay, so now we're over here and let's lay down our base color, which is B23. Alright, 
And now let's go in with one of our mid-tones, which is B24. And in this case, we have two mid-tones, which is this B24 and B26. So really, this B24 is actually uh, very similar in value to B23. But we can still use it to help blend. So, um, But in any case, this can actually be a plan B to B23. Like if B23 happens to dry out, this color can become the base tone, that kind of thing, because they're very close in value. But now that we're done applying that, let's go to our B26 and apply this along the contours. This is our second mid-tone, so we can apply this to a big, huge, large amount of the eye, of the iris, actually. And along the eyelid too. Okay. And now let's apply our B28. And this is our darkest color. So after we apply this and work backwards, we can begin to finish our eye. See how blue that is but now let's go back with our b26 and blend it in okay. and then b24 and then our B23, and by then we should be able to finish this up. Okay, and now we got a smooth blend between several different blues, and now let's go in with my Sharpie again. And this time my pupil is actually still a little bit visible, so that makes drawing it with the Sharpie a lot easier. And then I'm gonna grab my paint pen and make another ellipse that kind of overlaps the pupil a little bit. And draw that in. And then another one down here. And there we go, we got us a blue eye. So now that we're done doing that, let me transition to another one of these eyes down here and show you guys how to do it with a green. All right, and now we're on to our green. So let me take my G21 and apply a base color of it. All right, now let's use our G85. And apply it around the contours of the iris. And apply a big, huge, large area of it. So that way we got room to blend the darker colors. go in with our YG67 and this is actually kind of a more saturated green but it still works okay now that we're done that we can work backwards from here on out by applying our G85 And then let's go back with our base color, which is G21, and blend all the colors back together. Kane 
is in the building nigga. Okay, and now we're done with that. Let's go in with my Sharpie. And since our base color of a green was super light in value, my pupil was still able to be seen after adding all these layers of marker. So I'm just going to color that in with my Sharpie now. And then just apply some highlights. Like that. Okay, so we got our green eye. So now let's transition to the next eye and show you guys how to do it with a gray. All right, so in terms of gray markers, I have my C5 here, and that's our base color. So let me color the iris in with this C5. And then our mid-tone is C7. So I'm going to apply that to the contours of the iris. And as you can see, there's a big difference in value, as you can see. Or it could be because my C5 might be running out of ink. But let's see if that's actually true by blending it together. Yep, this marker is running very low on ink. So let's see what happens when I go to my C9 and start adding shades here. now we're seeing a greater difference in value with this C9. <laughs> and then let's use our C7 to blend. And then let me use one of my Prismacolor markers as a substitute for C5. See if that'll help me. And there we go. So we're going to pretend this Prismacolor marker was C5 today. It was a last minute decision I had to make. But we did all we had to do. So let's draw in our pupil. And then our paint pen to add some highlights. And there we go. So here are all the eyes that I colored in today's video. Let me know if this video was helpful for you guys. And if it was, give this video a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm